Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions and these videos tend to go down really well on my channel. I love filming them because I can obviously like show you guys a bunch of new products. Everything on my face right now is something new, so if you guys want to see what all of these products are on my face and what I thought of them all, then just keep watching. I am absolutely dying right now, it's so hot in my bedroom. If you're wondering, my headband is from Claire's. So to get started, I'm going to do my base and what I'm going to actually be using, something a little bit interesting, I don't actually have a brand new foundation but what I did want to test is because I do have a tiny little bit of fake tan on right now um, I wanted to test out my normal foundation mixed with some of the body shop either the darkening drops shade adjusting darkening drops or the honey bronze drops and to blend out my foundation I have my horribly stained beauty blender from my full face of doing a beauty blender full face using my beauty blender video the other day this is horribly stained and I'm also going to be testing a little itty bitty mini one which is one of the real techniques um like it comes in a set of four the miniature miracle complexion sponges I've got about this much of my normal foundation I feel like the darkening drops look quite ashy okay so I've put a tiny bit on yeah it's literally just made a grey foundation if i was to use a little bit of fake tan it makes me a bit more like oh i just got that on my shoulder great let's just rub that in i feel like when most people tan a bit naturally or use fake tan they tend to go a bit more like on the warm side um and those made it a little bit ashy so i have hope in the honey bronze drops i'm gonna try these instead i feel like it's definitely too ashy i might just put a couple of these honey bronze drops directly onto my face. Oh god, this, this could go so wrong. Let's just give it a go. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so here's my theory. I feel like the darkening drops, these ones, would be so much better for people with more pink toned skin because it's basically just made my foundation a bit darker but definitely like too pink for me um, and too kind of like ashy because um, my skin is a lot more yellow uh, but I feel like the honey bronze drops I did actually use these on their own the other day just like all over my face with a bit of concealer um, and it just kind of gives like a bit of tan to your face so I'm just going to add a couple more of these it's probably a really bad idea but I'm going to do it anyway this was a bad idea was a very bad idea. I think I'm definitely going to be taking these uh, honey bronze drops on holiday just because if I get a little bit tanned, um, I always put SPF on my face and my face never tans, so I might just use these to make my face like, look a bit more tanned because when you use them by themselves they actually do that job pretty well. But I do feel like using a brush applies the honey bronze drops a little bit more evenly and the sponge soaks them up quite a lot so for concealer these are all brand new i have a bunch of the benefit new concealers which are in this cool little tin i have the brightening concealer the industrial strength concealer the hydrating concealer and the airbrush concealer and i have the shade number one in all of these which i think is the palest okay so this one is the boing brightening concealer and i'm just going to use some of this under my eyes it's quite a kind of peachy salmony colour, but let's see how we go. Oh, okay, I thought this was going to be way too dark. Oh, I like that. I am really impressed with that. I'm just looking in the viewfinder, my bags are pretty much gone. Okay, I'm then going to try the Industrial Strength Full Coverage Concealer, which looks like, oh, I think this is the original Boing concealer. So let's just put this on my blemishes. Honestly, you guys, I have no idea whether these concealers are supposed to be good or not. Like, I know that the Boing concealer is popular, but I don't know, like, I haven't really done that much research into it. I'm now finally gonna try the airbrush concealer. This one looks like this, pretty similar. Okay, I'm gonna put some more of this under my eyes. Ooh, I like this one better. This one's blending easier. Okay, I really like the airbrush concealer. So to powder my face, I'm using the Natural Collection Loose Powder in the shade Neutral Translucent. This is literally like an orange powder. I still think it's gonna be too dark, but hey ho, we'll give it a go. <laughs> this powder will be good for medium skin tones, I think. 
and it's supposed to be like one of the lightest ones, I'm pretty sure. However, I have to say, it's making my skin look pretty flawless. I have a bunch of NYX eyebrow products and I'm actually really enjoying using like tinted brow gels on days when I can't really be bothered to do my makeup that well. So I think it's between blonde and brunette. Sometimes blonde can be a bit orangey, but I will give it a go. And then I'm also gonna try the Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomades and a brow brush. So I'm gonna give the brush a go as well, but first I'm just gonna see what the brow gel is like by itself. This is pretty much identical to my natural eyebrow color. It just literally just gave my brow like a tiny bit more color. So I think I will actually be using this on days when I don't wanna, you know, make too much effort with my makeup just cause it adds a tiny little bit more definition. But I do just wanna try the shade Brunette because I don't know which will be more warm toned, brunette or chocolate. Okay, yeah, that looks really warm toned. By the way, I would love it if you guys would let me know if there's any like drugstore foundations or concealers that you want me to test. Okay, I feel like brunette is a tiny bit more ashy. Mmm, I like that. Let's try the blonde tame and frame. This looks like it's actually gonna be a pretty good colour. I hope it's the same. <sighs> Damn it, why do people do this? Okay. Do you guys see this? In the thing, it looks like it's gonna be good, but then as soon as you swipe it, it's like a lot lighter and a lot more warm toned. Obviously I've already got the brow gel on, but let's ignore that. <laughs> so far I like this actually. I feel like the color could be a little bit more cool toned, but I can definitely cope with this. I think now my roots have grown out a bit. Like if something isn't as cool toned as the rest of my hair, then like, if it matches my roots, then it kind of works still, so that's all right. It doesn't have much color to it. I feel like a lot of the color has come from the brow stuff underneath. I do quite like it. It's also supposed to be waterproof, which is really good. So that gets a thumbs up from me. I would definitely try out the other color and let you guys know how I get on with it. Obviously I can't do that today because I've just put this on, but yeah, there we go. The only new bronzer that I've got recently is the MUA Luxe. Blush Trio Palette 2 in Bashful and this comes with a bronzer and then two kind of like blush shades but I'm just going to use the bronzer today. I don't know how this is going to work. Hello. I feel like it's literally not showing up on my face. Like it's on my brush. I dipped my brush in. In the thing it looks like it's going to be quite like orange and dark. But then on my face, it's not really showing up. This side it showed up better. Why did it not show up on this side? Okay, I mean, it's not bad, but it just takes some building. Then for my blush, I have three of, oh, that was a close one. They're called gradient highlighters, but to me, these are blushes. If you're subscribed to the Makeup Revolution channel, you would have seen that I did a video um, showing these. But I haven't shown them on my channel, so I thought it would be the perfect opportunity today. So I'm gonna use the one in Sunlight Mood Lights, and they have this really cool like ombre effect. I'm just gonna whack it on. I've actually been using blush recently, like in my daily life. I never normally use blush, but for some reason, I've actually been quite enjoying it. These ones have like a little bit of glow in them as well. I feel like I just need to get my technique down better. Like I need to learn how to do blush properly and then I feel like I like it more. This is the new Makeup Revolution Rainbow Highlighter. How cool is this packaging? It's just so pretty. You could either take some from like the individual colors or you can literally just like put your brush into all of them and then put it on your face. And it gives the most amazing glow. Come on. Okay, I probably put a bit much on there, but oh well, that's fine. I'm also just gonna put a bit on my brow bone. Okay, so there we go, highlighter done. I was gonna try out these, which are like skin things that you put on under your foundation. They're by a brand called Farsali, and this one is that one that's all over Instagram, which has got like gold in it, do you know what I mean? Maybe next time. Okay, so for my eyeshadow, I'm using um, a bunch of the new, the new Freedom Pro HD eye foils, and they come in little like sets of five like this, and then the idea is that you put them into a magnetic palette. And I've basically just like popped out a load of the shades from all of the new colours and put them into this big palette. I'm going to start with this light orange one down here and then I'm also going to use this one. 
think I'm then going to take a flat brush. I'm going to take this blue colour. I'm just going to pack that on the outer and inner part of my eyes. Just blend that out a little bit. I'm basically just keeping on adding this and then blending it. And then just going to take a bit of the purple and just use this to like blend out the edges just because there isn't another like dark transition shade out of these different sets so i'm gonna use the purple the purple one is matte i feel like it blends out a lot better okay so i'm then just taking a clean brush to just blend out those edges i'm gonna take the turquoise down here and i'm just gonna oh wow that is so pretty. I've got quite a bit of transfer on my lower lash line here. Okay, so on my lower lash line, I'm just again taking some of that orange. And then I'm just taking that turquoise again. And I'm going to run the turquoise all the way along the lower lash line. Okay, and then on my inner corner, I'm going to take the shimmery white one. I'm very happy with those eyeshadows, apart from the fact that I now have eyeshadow in my eyes. I don't really know whether I want to do eyeliner, because the only eyeliner I've got is just plain black, and I feel like I did that in my last first impressions. The mascara I'm going to test is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara, and I've... Oh my god, the packaging is gorgeous. This packaging reminds me of the MAC um, like aquatic collection that they did, and I never managed to get something front, but I was obsessed with that packaging. It's got like water droplets all over it, um, but this is the waterproof one. I've never tried the original, and I've never tried this one. By the way, if you're looking for a decent drugstore waterproof mascara, then the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll in waterproof is actually really good as well. I kind of want to do like a dot under my eye. Okay, screw it. I'm testing the e.l.f. waterproof liquid liner. Ah, this one's brush is a lot thinner. I'm actually just going to use it to do a dot. I am loving this mascara. Normally I absolutely hate waterproof mascaras but this one is doing my lashes good. Okay so I like how it's made my lashes look but it transfers to your face so easily. Okay so finally after all of that I feel like I'm so sweaty now. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Coloured Rain lipstick in the shade Marshmallow which I have never used it before. I'm going to give this one a go. I don't like the smell. It tastes horrible. I feel like this lip colour does not go with these eyes at all. The colour is really nice and it dries really fast, but I feel like it just does not go with this makeup. I'm gonna try one of these e.l.f. lip lacquers in tea rose. Ooh, it's purple. Mmm, it smells so good. It's basically a really pigmented gloss. And it's not too sticky. There we go. There is the finished look. Mmm tastes really nice okay so there we go that is it for this first impressions video i am absolutely dying of like overheating right now it's so hot in here i need to film more videos but i honestly think i'm gonna have to take a break because i feel like i'm about to pass out but anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up um i would love to know any other products in the comments that you guys want me to like test out and do first impressions of and stuff um like i said earlier like foundations concealers from the drugstore i really want to test more of those so so i hope you guys are all having a lovely day and i will see you guys in my next video bye